and honored guests, welcome to the fall 2022 induction ceremony for Roe Landon Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society at Coastal Bend College. I am Dr. Michelle Lane, and I am the Executive Director of Institutional Effectiveness and Research. It's an honor to be part of the Phi Theta Kappa induction ceremony. Inductees, please accept my congratulations to all of you for earning the invitation to become part of this honor society and my sincerest congratulations for accepting that invitation. It is said, with great knowledge comes great responsibility. And each of you have demonstrated academic excellence and now have the opportunity to become vital leaders amongst your peers, which will have a lasting impact for not just you, but countless others pursuing higher education. At this time, I would like to welcome and introduce the president of Coastal Bend College, Dr. Justin Hogger, to join me on the stage to say a few words and welcome our new members. Hello everyone. Good evening. I am Dr. Hogger, as she said, and on behalf of myself, the Board of Trustees, all faculty and staff, um, we're glad to have you here. And it is my pleasure on behalf of those folks to welcome you to the Fall 2022 PTK induction ceremony. In just a few moments, you will be inducted into Row Lambda which is Coastal Bend College's chapter of the National Collegiate Honor Society um, for Phi Theta Kappa. But I'm just curious, I've been told once before that there was a speech going on, there was a big presentation, big meeting, and my staff kept dropping movie notes, like, like movie lines into the speech and the presentation that day. So you just made a Spider-Man <laughs> reference, and I want to make sure that that's not going to happen the rest of the night. Okay, I'm just checking. Um, so maybe uh, maybe you've seen uh, those of you who, who follow the college on social media. We've we've been busy. We've been taking selfies and doing movies with the Grinch, and we have a big production. And I got confused, and I I pulled out my 12-page speech. So. <laughs> Sutherland. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, PTK is an international academic honor society that promotes scholarship among two year college students. It was established in Missouri uh, at a two year college by presidents uh, in 1918. The Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society serves to recognize and encourage academic achievement for two years college uh, students and provide opportunities for individual growth and development that is focused on honor, leadership, and service. In order to become a member of Phi Theta Kappa, you must have completed 12 semesters. <laughs> 12 semesters. <laughs> There's more to the sentence. I'm telling you, we've been doing videos and cameras and all kinds of things. Today. Let me try that again. In order to become a Phi Theta Kappa, Remember, you must, punctuation is important, you must have completed 12 semester hours of associate degree coursework with a GPA of 3.5 on a 4.0 scale. Uh, you must adhere to the school code of conduct. You must possess recognized qualities of citizenship, and you must maintain a cumulative GPA of 3.0 to remain in good standing. All of these things are not hard to do, but they take a commitment to get there. So thank you for your commitment. It's a commitment that you are actually paying to yourself, but the service component is absolutely critical in a society today that seems to have, oh, dare I say, lost its mind. You are going to be serving people and helping people in a leadership role, and it's vastly important that you grasp that component as part of the PTK membership. So let me be the first to congratulate you tonight on this honor. And I hope you nothing but continued success. But remember, it started here at Coastal Bend because success happens here. I'm 
Taylor Tomlin. I'm a history professor here at CBC. And I'm going to tell you what CB or what PTK means. It means Phi Beta Kappa, right? All right, that's it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I'm Introduces himself, honored president, director, speakers, <laughs> fellow Phi Theta Kappa members. I am pleased to present to you the, these candidates for membership in our honor society. These students have fulfilled all requirements for membership and have been selected because they have chosen scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship as their hallmarks. I recommend them for acceptance into the Rolanda Lambda chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. You are about to be inducted into a scholarly fellowship which embraces community colleges, not only for your own state, but for the nation and the world. This fellowship is Phi Theta Kappa and your chapter is Rho Lambda. After induction, you will find among the members an atmosphere of scholarship to which you must give of yourself in order that the organization may be meaningful to you. Meaningful quotation. Uh, here is the torch, symbolic of knowledge, which is the servant of wisdom, which dwells with prudence and leads in the way of righteousness, in the midst of paths of judgment. Here is the white rose, typifying purity and beauty of life, with its white buds signifying intellectual associations. This is the emblem of Phi Theta Kappa. It consists of a golden slab, keyed at the top and bottom. The golden field, like the escutcheon of our coat of arms, refers to the golden opportunities that abound on every hand for society folk to evidence their culture and perform good works. Since gold is the most noble of metals, it shall have a further significance to our society, for it shall represent that nobility obtained by those who achieve intellectual leadership. Across the slab, you will observe a a black band, it represents the three ideals which bind us together, and the cultural self-control, which is the necessary foundation for true wisdom, aspiration, and purity. Shining through the black enamel background are the three Greek letters, which are the initials of the Greek words meaning wisdom, aspiration, and purity. Behind the band is a wreath, on the one side composed of oak leaves, and the other laurel. The oak stands for stability and strength of character, as symbolized by the sturdy oak. The graceful curling leaves of the laurel signify achievement and success, all attributes for membership in our society. Above the band is the representation of the head of Athena, a symbol of learning. In the base appear the Greek letters, meaning light, meaning light, the light of knowledge and learning the common ideal for members of Phi Theta Kappa on our society. This badge stands as a symbol for the high idealism of our organization and membership in our select group. You have studied the constitution of this organization, the purpose of which is to foster a spirit of devotion to study and to scholarship ideals among its members and whose principles are embodied in the Greek letters which stand for wisdom, aspiration, and purity. Now that the standards and ideals of this organization have been fully revealed to you, you may now come to complete the pledge which admits you to com complete fellowship. And I would now like to introduce Jennifer Cervantes, the president of this chapter. Next we have 
Nicholas Ellison. Thank you, Nicholas. 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 Thank you, Nicholas.
my fellow members, my fellow members, and promise to aid them, and promise to aid them in all worthy endeavors. In all worthy endeavors. Congratulations. It's my pleasure to welcome you into the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and the lively fellowship of scholars it affords. I salute you for your accomplishment and I charge you to explore ways for truth and to dedicate yourselves to the cultivation of the well-reasoned life. A prelude to service and honor. You may now extinguish your candle, but never let the light go out in your hearts. So the students can return to their seats. <laughs> Introduce the steam sequel. Okay. Uh, I'd like to welcome our Dean of Transfer and General Education, one of my former professors, Dean Mark Siegel. Well, congratulations to all of you, and it's my job in closing out these ceremonies to talk to you about four very important items. The first one is appreciation. You didn't get here by yourself, right? Success does not happen in a vacuum. It takes a village, so always take time to thank those that supported you, and in some cases probably had to put up with you, you know, and all that coursework as you put in, in all that hard work. So take care of your support system. They'll be there for you, and when times get rough, they'll help you make it through. Appreciation is so critical to your success. Also, participation. Rolanda is going to be as good as you make it. So participate in your Rolanda chapter. Make it something great. You are PTK. PTK is you. So put in the effort. Uh, it gives you a lot of great opportunities. You can network. You can meet from wonderful people, you can develop relationships that can benefit you down the road. So definitely participate. The third item, celebration. Don't get so focused on that final goal that you forget to enjoy the journey. So take time out to celebrate these victories, which is why we're here tonight. And which brings me to item number four, which is probably the most important one, cake. We have cake. <laughs> so we are going to close out, and I will meet you in the back so we can have cake and punch, and I can toast your success for a job well done. So congratulations, and thank you for being here tonight.